Welcome to another edition of A New Me, your weekly consultation with the Washington, D.C. area's best doctors and professionals. Our guest experts help you learn about the latest medical advances and procedures by providing you with the real information necessary to help you eliminate the dangers of making the wrong medical and cosmetic enhancement decisions. Get ready for your consultation. Coming up, we will be on location at Smiles Dental Care in Rockville, Maryland, discussing how you can achieve a new smile in one visit through some of the latest advances in dentistry, namely CAD CAM Dentistry and CEREC, with one of this area's top implant and cosmetic dentists, Dr. Kalpana Medwan. Dr. Medwan earned her doctorate of dental medicine from the University of Pennsylvania where she graduated with honors and has received a fellowship in implantology and a master's in periodontics. She is currently recognized as one of this country's top dentists by the Consumers Research Council of America and is a member of the American Dental Association and the Maryland Dental Society among others. Welcome Dr. Medwan. Thank you. It's our pleasure to have you on. We've got a lot to talk about regarding one of the latest advances, in fact, in dentistry, where you can have a new smile in literally one visit through CAD CAM Dentistry and CEREC. And I wanted to begin by asking you if you can please tell us what they are. CEREC uh, is nothing but the ceramic reconstruction. CEREC, which is spelled as C-E-R-E-C. -E -E. The C-E is the ceramic part, and R-E-C is the reconstruction part. The CEREC systems is the uh, pioneer in CAD CAM dentistry. Basically, to summarize, CEREC is computer-assisted and computer-manufactured ceramic restorations. Sounds very futuristic, doesn't it? Yes, it does. But it's happening right here, right now, and we are in a CAD CAM world. Now, how is this different than, say, the traditional crown-making process that has been utilized for so many years, and most dentists still utilize that, in fact? The traditional dentistry, which is um, when a patient walks in, they, the filling is uh, prepared, uh, they have to get this ooey gooey material stuff put in their mouth, and then the impressions are sent to the lab. That's where the control goes out of the dentist ha uh, dentist's hand, and the quality can change from there on. The patient, in the meantime, is in the temporaries. It takes at least two weeks for the temporaries to be, uh, the final fi filling to be fitted in. And if the temporaries fall off, now they have to take off fr time from the work. And in this economy, nobody wants to be doing that. And if they are in pain, every time they need to be getting anesthetized. Yes. Now that's the old way of doing it. Now in the new way, the impressions are taken digitally. The uh, design is designed in front of the patient on the computer. And the beauty is that the filling is milled right in the office with a CAD CAM machine, and the patient can see it and enjoy it that the filling is being made right in front of their eyes. So basically, like you just described, doctor, you're talking about it's all in one sitting, the patient is right there, he or she can see the whole process, as opposed to you know, coming, having uh, everything done that you just described earlier, and then having it sent out or outsourced right. a couple of weeks later, that's another visit, so on and so forth. So right. this is very efficient. You can knock it all out in one sitting. Right, and patients who are apprehensive about going to a dentist and having their needles and anesthetized, they, once they are numb, start to finish, single visit, everything done. Speaking of everything, Dr. Madwan, what types of problems are we looking at as far as what CAD CAM dentistry and CEREC can correct? Any single tooth problem that a traditional dentistry could uh, treat, CEREC can basically treat any and all of them. So CEREC can do, say, ceramic fillings, like inlays and onlays, ceramic veneers, all porcelain crowns, and even can do something as strong as ceramic uh, implant crowns. Uh, and my philosophy is about preserving as much natural tooth structure as possible, and CEREC absolutely lets me do that. The old traditional way, uh, we had to take away the whole of enamel to get, say, a full coverage crown, versus with, with the CEREC, I am able to preserve more of natural enamel tooth structure. That prolongs the lifespan of the tooth that much more longer. If the whole of the enamel is taken away, once it's gone, it's more precious than diamond. It's gone. You cannot bring it back. And uh, so versus with the ceramic fillings and the ceramic restorations, you can preserve all of that and still have a very good long-lasting uh, effect with that. Can you please describe, Dr. Madwan, the process that one 
would typically experience or go through when undergoing the CERC treatment? Sure. Let's say a patient uh, br uh, calls me on the weekend and says that, hey, doc, we lost, uh, we broke down a tooth. And, or is the patient is scheduled for a regular uh, decay that needs to be removed. The process the patient comes in, depending on the com complexity of the uh, problem, the decay is removed within about anywhere from 10 minutes to about 45 minutes. After that, the whole designing and the manufacturing process uh, starts, where the impressions are make, made digitally by an intraoral camera. The impression is then transferred over to the computer. The computer helps design the entire filling. Then, once the, the filling is designed, or the crown is designed, it is sent wirelessly to a, a milling unit, which can basically prepare it anywhere from four minutes to 20 minutes, depending on the kind of machine that you have. So imagine that the patient is walking in, start to finish, everything can be done anywhere from 45 minutes to two to three hours time. That is amazing because as you mentioned earlier briefly, the normal process obviously takes a lot longer and over Sometimes multiple months. visits. Sometimes months. Yes, as opposed to literally within 45 minutes to a couple of hours yes. tops in one visit. Yes. Very impressive indeed, doctor. And in this economy, when patients really don't want to take time off from the work and they don't want to be spending so much time going back and forth between dental, office, dental visits, they are appreciating this kind of technology. Cost-wise, it's the same thing. Quality-wise, time-wise, just having the whole thing done in one day, no temporaries, no shots, uh, no anesthetics, it's really priceless. Let me ask you, Dr. Madwan, how many fillings or crowns can be done in one visit? Well, typically, CEREC is designed to do, um, can do pretty much four to five fillings in one time. Sometimes, if the patient has the time and the energy, we can even do the whole mouth or half of the mouth in one to two visits time. Now, uh, my philosophy is, once a patient is numb, he's gonna be numb whether we do one filling or two filling or four filling. With the technology and the quickness and the efficiency that we can do this, I'm able to do three to four fillings in a matter of two to three hours time, start to finish. Very, very impressive. So based on everything you said thus far, Dr. Madwan, what kind of results can be expected from CEREC? Actually, really beautiful, long-lasting, tooth-colored restorations which are designed to last a lifetime, and all with a minimalistic, natural, enamel-preserving approach. I believe you have some patient before and after pictures for us? Sure. Let's take a look. Definitely. Okay, now in this view, what we are seeing that the patient came in with a broken down uh, filling, and as you can see, there is decay right next to the broken down uh, tooth, and once the tooth was um, all cleaned up, the silver filling taken out, then what we find is there's a lot of uh, decay. The tooth structure looks very fragile. The old school way, this would have easily been turned into a full coverage crown where all that beautiful enamel is uh, taken away versus with the CAD cam all single wizard dentistry we can preserve as much natural enamel as possible and then the, the result is beautiful strong and long-lasting. Now in this picture what we can see is the patient had decay and the decay needed to be uh, restored uh, with a brand new filling Again, with the do it once, do it right philosophy, why not get it done with the ceramic filling? So as you can see, the start to finish, the end uh, result over there is quite aesthetic and beautiful. Some very impressive work indeed. Yeah, and isn't it beautiful? It's all futuristic sounding, but it's happening real time, CAD cam, all in single visit, start to finish, no temporaries. And everything looks so natural, really good work. Yes. All this sounds expensive. Does insurance cover any of this? Absolutely. Actually, cost-wise, there's not very much of a difference between doing the traditional way of crown sending it to the labs and compromising on the quality versus doing the CEREC way where everything is done start to finish and the insurance will cover. They don't make any distinction between uh, the old way or the new way. Quality-wise and the time-wise, what patient gets is priceless. Are there special patient instructions or restrictions that one would be looking at having gone through the CEREC procedure? 
Actually, the way the CEREC uh, fillings are cemented, they're pretty much cured instantly, and patient could be walking out of the office and right away start eating salad to steaks and have no problem at all. Right away, the same day. Same you can literally day. go from the morning visit with you, get the have the CEREC done, and then literally an hour or two hours later, go to lunch and, and eat a steak. Yeah, no problem. We're now going to meet some of Dr. Madhuan's patients. Welcome, Chris. Thank you very much. My pleasure. Oh, it's our pleasure to have you on, and we always appreciate it when patients take some time in their busy schedules to come down and share their experiences with us. And on that note, I wanted to begin by asking you, Chris, what dental problems were you experiencing prior to coming to Dr. Medwan? Well, I've had what you could basically call a dental odyssey. I've had uh, my entire upper teeth are... Um, and my entire lower teeth, both of them have implants. Dentistry is not your father's dentistry that, that, that we're used to where, where they basically have, uh, uh, you know, pollard in and put in your mouth and fake teeth. It's come a long way uh, and I decided that that option was not viable in my case, that I really wanted to have permanent, as much as permanent teeth can be. So I shopped around for about six months, did a whole bunch of research. Uh, I did not know Dr. Madwan then, uh, so I went to the conventional route, which was basically an oral surgeon to do the implants, which takes about four, five, six months to heal, and then a dentist to do the appliance, which is how they refer to this. Uh, basically, it's a, it's a dental appliance that's screwed into the mouth. It's good. It's not perfect, it has lots of issues, it's essentially like wearing a permanent uh, uh, denture. My goodness. Um, and they can take it out, there are six screws that, that can, it can be removed and cleaned, and, uh, but it's still not, it feels like an appliance as opposed to natural teeth. And that's what you had done through an oral surgeon uh, for the upper part, obviously your upper teeth, and then I take it based on what you've just told us, you weren't too pleased with that, and then what resulted in you coming to Dr. I wasn't too pleased with that. It was a very long, it was about a two-year procedure. I've been doing this for about two years already. Okay. Uh, it's been an odyssey. And had I known in the beginning that it was going to be this long, I probably still would have done it because I didn't really have a choice. As I said, the, the other option was, you know, take your teeth out at night and put them on the nightstand. Dentures. Yeah, dentures, which I was not... In my mind, you're not that, a denture guy. I'm not a denture guy. That struck me like your father's. Yeah, you, you know. grew up <laughs> watching your dad when he was probably in his 70s and 80s having dentures many years ago, and you're like, I'm never going to do like that. I'm not going down that, down that route. It's just not. It just can't. It's not going to work. Yeah. So uh, after a lot of research, I found out the only other options were, you know, what what I said basically is having implants done. And then essentially the dental business, as far as I've been able to understand in times past, is that there's an oral surgeon who does the implant, who doesn't have anything to do with the appliance. Then there's a dentist who does the appliance, who doesn't have anything to do with the implants. The two need to get together because if the implants are not placed exactly correct, then the appliance does not fit correctly. Yes. And so it becomes a meeting of the medical minds and that creates another problem also. Uh, all of this has to be sent out to a lab, which means you have a third party involved in that, and then the lab has to get it right, and they don't. And then it comes back, and they have to refit it, and you take a million uh, impressions. And uh, So based on what you're telling us, that's what you experience through going through the oral surgeon prior to coming to Dr. That's Ryan. exactly then, what experience, yes. And so based on those problems and, and certainly difficulties that you were experiencing prior to coming to her, what changed for you and, and what did you have done through Dr. Mudwan? Well, I researched and, I, and my, the bottom part of my mouth had to have the same issues that the top part uh, experienced and I decided I was not going to go through that process again. So I went online and I did, a, me and Mr. Google were very good pals. I, anything I need to know, I Google. Sure. And uh, she came up in, on Google and I read her resume and everything about the facility and everything like that and I was tremendously impressed. Made some phone calls, uh, learned about the process. We did a pre-interview, you know, and I learned about what CEREC was, which is essentially 
they make the teeth right here, individual teeth to go, the crown to go on to the uh, implant. What you were experiencing going through the oral surgeon did not take place when not she came to Not at all. She was the surgeon and also the dentist, so therefore she knew where to put the implants in so that it would be cosmetically correct as opposed to the surgeon previously basically put the implants in wherever he felt like it from the surgical point of view and he didn't particularly cons wasn't concerned with how the the appliance would fit that was not his job that's not my job that's somebody else's job with her it was she did the surgery did the uh, and knowing exactly where the implants where the crowns and the teeth would be it's all in one it looks much more natural it's done right here on the premises, so it's not a matter of sending it out to some place or other where, the, where some technician gets it wrong, comes back, doesn't fit, you send it back out, go back and forth, everybody gets mad. But from the patient's point of view, it's all done right here, and you can actually watch the teeth being made, which is really interesting to see how this whole process goes. So it was much more efficient, <coughs> all done here through Dr. Medwan, right. and you had your lower teeth done through her, and you certainly seem very pleased with the oh, results. Oh, I'm much happier. It feels natural. It's a whole better way to go, and I only can say I wish that I'd known she existed two and a half years ago. When I started this odyssey, I would have probably avoided the entire uh, appliance and, uh, you know, the two-step the two -step process that I did before. So this is the, you know, this is the 21st century dentistry as opposed to, you know, last century dentistry. That's right. And on that note, I'd like to thank you, Chris, for My joining pleasure. us. Thank you very much. It was our pleasure. Welcome, Zoda. Thank you. Uh, let me begin by asking you, what dental problems were you experiencing that made you come to Dr. Medwan? I had a lot of uh, all the silver uh, fillings, so um, I, I started having problems with my breath, and uh, I, I thought it was better for me to do that from the beginning. Oh, so you so. came to Dr. Madwan, yes. and what did she do for you? I have to replace uh, all the mercury fillings and the uh, new decay, so I came uh, here to do all that uh, I needed to do for my mouth. And what was the process like with the doctor? What did, you, what did you experience as far as, what did you go through to have those problems corrected? It was very, very pleasant, and it was very easy for me because, uh, because I, had the, I have a son, 20-year-old son at home, and now with a new baby, You've I got another one on the way, yes. right? I would look, based on what I see, probably yes. less than a month, I take it, before mm -hmm. the next child. Yes. That's the greatest blessing right so there. So I have uh, to replace all the old uh, feelings uh, before the new baby come. At the time, it was very um, it was very special for me because uh, my decay bacteria will go to the new baby, the, to my son. So I have uh, to do that when I was in my second trimester. Oh, so that was very smart of you to come and have that corrected prior yes. to the second child coming. It was uh, very, very easy. I have to do all these uh, feedings in uh, just uh, three, four hour visits in just uh, four visits. That's it? Yes. So you got it all done? Yes. And you seem very pleased with everything. I'm very pleased because with the old way, I have to, I will be still here. For me and for uh, other new moms, this is the modern, high-tech, and the extremely efficient way to get permanent feelings uh, done in uh, just four visits. That is wonderful to hear. Thank and you. on that note, I'd like to thank you, Zoda, for joining us and being a guest on A New Me. And God bless you. The second one thank is you only much. weeks away. Yes, thank you. We're now back with Dr. Madwan. I must say the patient seemed very pleased with the results and they have beautiful smiles. Thank you. And they are very, very happy with it. You've developed a strong reputation as a leading dentist in this area, Dr. Madwan. And I wanted to ask you what separates you and your practice apart from the others. Dentistry and dental health is in a constant, continuous change. Every patient goes through three, three phases of dentistry in their life, prevention, treatment, and maintenance. Anytime a patient walks in, my focus is always how I can prevent the disease in their mouth. If the disease has already happened and I need to treat it, that's where I use this latest CAD CAM technology or any of the sophisticated technology that we have to uh, treat that patient in an efficient, quick, and fast manner. And 
once those uh, fillings, ceramic fillings, which are beautiful teeth colored fillings, are done, then my focus is how I can keep them in a maintenance and prevent any new uh, disease from happening. I cannot emphasize how strongly I believe in preserving as much natural tooth structure as possible. My philosophy is do it once, do it right, and be done with it. And this technology actually lets us do that. I feel that it is very, very important that I educate the patients and uh, tell them what needs to be done and what needs to uh, be followed up on a day-to-day -day basis from a maintenance point of view so none of the problems which occurred are reoccurred and the teeth stay healthy and long lasting for the rest of your life. So you take a real personalized approach with each patient and map out a strategy and a step-by-step -step formula which really not only treats the patient and eliminates the problems they came to you with through CEREC all in one visit literally and based on what you discussed here today which certainly saves a lot of time and money long term but also on the maintenance part to make sure and ensure moving forward that those problems don't come back based on you educating them. Right. And when the patients have uh, invested so much of time and money and energy in getting some of these done, it is very important that we just don't do the treatment and let them be. It has to be followed up, told, educated what needs to be, uh, what, what foods they need to modify, what um, daily maintenance routines they need, they, that they need to follow and that's going to keep the teeth healthy and long-lasting for the rest of their life. And change is inevitable, whether in the person's life or in the technology. And I feel my ability to embrace that te technology change and make the patient's experience in the chair very comfortable and a long-lasting and a pleasant one is what makes my practice very different. Well, that's certainly very enlightening and very helpful indeed, Dr. Medwan. And on that note, I'd like to thank you for joining us and being a guest today on A New Me. Thank you very much, Rocco. It was our pleasure, and we'll have you back again in the future. Sure. Thank you.